Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. These messages will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right into the reading. Remember to like the messages. I'm sorry, <laughs> the messages. I do want you to like the messages. But remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So let's jump right into it and see what Spirit has for you. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn. Okay, so I have the King of Brooms, which is the King of Wands in the reverse, Judgment, and the Star. So let's get some more messages. Okay, so I have the Hangman. Let's get one more message. I have the moon, the nine of swords in the reverse, the knight of pentacles, and the five of cups. Okay, Capricorn. So you have quite a few messages. A song just came to me, a song by P. Diddy. I think it's by P. Diddy, No Time. Like I don't have any time, I don't have any time, you know, to waste. That is what I'm getting Capricorn. So it's like, you really don't have any time to waste when it comes to a situation. I feel like you are not getting what you want. And I feel like by you not getting what you want, <clears throat> This is actually helping you. Yeah, by you not getting what you want out of the situation, by you not seeing the progression, it's actually helping you. It's actually helping things to work out in your favor. I heard new direction, like this not working out the way that you want it to, it's helping push you into a new direction. And I heard spirituality. So yes, it's like by this situation happening, by this situation not going the way that you intended it to go, you're being pushed further into spirituality. Yes, the moon. I heard intuition. It's like your intuition is increasing. I feel like you are learning to be calmer about things, to release the need to control. And yes, by you going into this new direction, it's like the Knight of Pentacles. Like you are pursuing some type of new idea. It's something that you are working on, Capricorn. And I feel like with this Five of Cups, it's like in order to get this, in order to get this fulfillment, in order to fully be able to invest into this new project, you're going to have to leave something behind in order to take what spirit is offering you. So yes, you're definitely going to have to give up something. But you not getting what you want is actually creating a new beginning for you, something that is going to give you a better result. So let's get some more messages. Spirit, give me a message for the King of Brooms, which is the King of Wands in the reverse. I have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like by a situation not working out. 
I heard relationship. For some of you, this is a relationship. It's like you didn't get what you wanted out of the situation. And by you not getting what you wanted when it comes to this relationship, this connection, it forced you to finally start focusing on yourself, to finally start pouring into yourself. Yes, because once spirit removed this person out of your life, you turned the attention inwards and started giving to yourself and started fully investing in the things that are important to you, the things that are going to bring you success and balance. Let's get a message for judgment. I have the will. Yes, a brand new cycle. I heard a long time coming. Capricorn, this new beginning, this new cycle, this new phase in your life was a long time coming. Yes. This was a long time coming. This was meant, this was destined for you. I heard a new journey. Yes, this new journey was destined for you. And it's like you're finally starting to see things work out in your favor. You're getting what you want. You feel free. You are fully becoming one with yourself. I, I heard your higher self. Yes, you are connecting more with your higher self. And you are finally getting everything that you want and everything that you deserve. So let's get a message for the star. I have the page of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like there's a new opportunity that has been presented to you. A new direction where you are going to be seen. I heard mentor. For some of you, you may be some type of mentor, some type of public speaker. But there's a new op op uh, opportunity. Sorry. That has been given to you by spirit in order for you to be seen. So you're going to be some type of public figure, Capricorn. And spirit is saying, do not fear this. That is what I'm getting with this page of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like, do not fear this. Do not fear being seen. It's like you started working on something and like now you want to hold back out of fear. Out of fear of the unknown. But spirit is saying, no, do not fear this. This is meant for you. You are on the right path. You are meant to be great. You are meant to be seen. You are meant to inspire others. So do not fear this. Embrace this new journey. Embrace this new opportunity. Let's get a message for the hangman. I have the hermit. Yes. You've been doing a lot of reflection. I heard like time away. You've really been to yourself, Capricorn. For some of you, you may have not been spending a lot of time with family and friends. You've just been to yourself. You've been spending a lot of time with spirit. That is what you have been doing, Capricorn. You've been spending a lot of time with spirit. I heard direction in life. You really have been seeking answers when it comes to the path that you need to take concerning your life's purpose. And it's like spirit is answering you. Spirit is giving you the direction that you need. Yes. So it's like you have definitely been seeking spiritual guidance. Let's get a message for the moon. I have the ten of swords in the reverse. I feel like with this moon, it's like a lot of revelation has been happening for you, Capricorn. I feel like you have been learning a lot about why you made certain choices and decisions in the past. Like why you stayed in certain situations, especially when it comes to your relationships, your connections. It's like you finally understand why 
you I heard toxic why you allow toxic people into your energy why you stayed in toxic relationships and I heard heal and it's like by you receiving this revelation you were able to finally deal with these issues and heal from them and again, I heard intuition. So yes, some of you are definitely experiencing a increase and a deeper awakening when it comes to your intuition. I have the chariot in the reverse and I have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're no longer worried about this situation, this connection working out. And I heard past relationships for some of you. These are your past relationships. I feel like these swords on the wall are your past relationships. And it's like you're no longer holding on to the past. You have let it go. You have released all of the past disappointments. And you are realizing that it was a blessing that you did not move forward when it came to these relationships. It was a blessing that it didn't work out because now you're in your nine of pentacles energy. And now you're happy. Now you're focused on yourself. You're focused on building. I feel like for you, Capricorn, this season is, is about you really pouring into yourself, focused on building stability, focused on your financial independence. And it's like all of this took place, this new direction, this newfound spirituality, this newfound growth within you because a situation did not work out a relationship ended and it forced you to really take a look at yourself and reflect and learn how to be your own love learn how to love yourself more let's get a message for the knight of pentacles yes becoming your own true love capricorn and you are you're loving yourself. You're loving on yourself. That is what that relationship taught you. It taught you how to love on yourself. I have the Page of Wands. Yes. With the Knight of Pentacles, listen, a new idea, Capricorn, and it is taking off. Yes, whatever you're working on, it is taking off. Yes, this new idea, this new endeavor, it is starting to take off. I heard business. Some of you are starting a new business. You're finally starting to see the fruits of your labor pay off. Let's get a message for the Five of Cups. Yeah, and I heard leaving something behind. So definitely with this five of cups, you are going to have to leave something behind. I have the hangman. So let's get one more message. Spirit says one more. All right. Three of Swords, yes, leaving behind. Healing, yes. You're going to have to leave behind all of the past disappointments. You're going to have to leave behind all of the past relationships that didn't work out. Yes, you're going to have to leave behind the past. That is what you're going to have to leave behind, Capricorn, in order to move forward. You're going to have to leave the past behind. You can't take it with you. You have to let go. You have to release it. Release the pain. Release the disappointment. Release what could have, should have, would have been. Yes. That is what you're going to have to leave behind. The past. In order to receive what spirit has for you. In order to embrace this new beginning, the future. In order to pick up these two cups. In order to take this new offer. You're going to have to leave the past behind. Yes. Let it go. It's time for you to come out of overthinking. It's time for you to come out of reliving the past. And live in the present moment. Prepare for your future by being present in the now. Let's get one more message. I 
have intuition and downloads. Yes, Capricorn, this is about your spirituality. Yes, this relationship or these past relationships has helped to evolve you as a person, has pushed you towards a deeper level of spirituality, a deeper level of consciousness. And spirit is really working through you. Yes, an expansion of your intuition, an expansion of your third eye. You're getting a lot of downloads. I heard dreams. For some of you, spirit is communicating with you through your dreams. I heard visions for others of you. But yes, this is about your spiritual growth, your spirituality. You are going through a spiritual evolution, Capricorn. A beautiful evolution, one that is going to change you forever. And you will never be the same. So I hope that these messages resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.